We are going to be doing more explosives in this video. Be mindful of using the sets I will be giving you. With great boom boom comes great responsibility. I will be showing 6 sets on this video, a shield sticky heavy bowgun, no shield sticky heavy bowgun, and dereliction blood right sticky heavy bowgun, and their respective god charm versions. Every sticky loving gunner out there already knows about the antique machina. Thanks to the title update, now we can make the rampage slot of this gun fit Teostra soul. Thanks to this rampage decoration, all our explosive ammo like cluster, sticky, and wyvern get an approximate 10% more damage. Now some of our viewers are not true gun sexuals yet, so they are quite unfamiliar with the loadout. Here's what your pouch will look like. I know, if you are coming from the prehistoric age of melee hunting, you'd be shocked. It's only complicated at the start, no worries. Gunners don't have a combo list, but we do have a radial menu shortcut list. This is the bread and butter of every gunner. For a step-by-step -step intro to gunning, I have a video on it way back. Make sure to check it out. Before we go to the builds, let's get the skill priority list. We're going to discuss the shield build first. It's pretty straightforward. Max out the shield first along with tune up level 1 and then see if you can make room for some attack skills. Slugger, Heartbreaker, and Steadiness, I advise you just roll them onto your set via armor augments. Sneak Attack and Mail of Hellfire here can really be just part of the set if you have god armor augments, probably. Even with a god charm, you won't be fitting these in. And don't worry, you're not really losing big damage. Remember that you only heal on this shield build when you hit a broken part. To the shieldless approach, it's as if you're just trying to make another sticky light bowgun with a twist. Since you are running no shield, you can benefit from tune up level 2, but it's not your main priority for more attack. I still suggest that going for attack boost first will give better damage. You might be wondering why I'm not putting any focus in my sticky sets. Is charging shot useless? Well, not really. Instead of actually slotting in focus, I find it better that you just proc counter charger on your enemies and almost get the same speed of charging your shots with focus 3. It's better and it's cheap. Almost there with the sets. Let's get switch skills out of the way first. The best switch skills I suggest to use with these builds are the following. Tackle, Charge Shot, Counter Charger, and Free Silk Bind Glide. If the set has Mail of Hellfire, stay on red. If the set has Dead Eliction, stay on blue. I tried my best, but I can't make it work. The Shield Sticky Heavy Bowgun must have at least any 3-2-1 charm. This set is almost complete. It still has some deviation. As you can see, it only has Steadiness 1. It needs one more steadiness to shoot straight, but it shouldn't be that much of a problem. It has attack boost 1, so try your luck in rolling 3 more on the other armor pieces, or maybe go for slugger or part breaker. The set is a mix between rarity 10, 9, and 8 pieces. Each of these armor pieces have skills that are not even needed on a sticky set, meaning you can roll higher raw attack boosting skills in any of these armor pieces. It's actually fun using these especially with the monsters with shitty hit zones. Even if with a shield, it still deals decent damage. The maxed out charm build just gains attack boost 4 and a bit of agitator. This set still has to rely on rolling augments for slugger and other utility skills. It only has one level of steadiness as well. Always remember, for sticky shield setups, put a shield on the custom mod. Don't go for tune up level 2, because it will be useless. Only go for tune up level 1. This is the no shield approach. This one does not need a talisman, it's just waiting for your evade extender too. This set also uses one piece of scorn magna malo for a 15 raw boost. It also has sneak attack. Sneak attack works for wyvern ammo. Bust that wyvern from the back of the monster to utilize it. It also has steadiness too, so it shoots straight, no deviation. Now, if you don't really like sneak attack, then just roll it away as a skill. The Lucent Nargakuga Greaves is being used here not for the sole purpose of sneak attack, but because of its ammo up. You can roll more attack in the armor pieces or more slugger. You can even try your luck for tune up level 2. Again, this is a no talisman set. Just slap Evade Extender 2 and you're ready to go. The maxed out no shield approach is using attack 3 with spare shot 2 and a 3-1-1 charm. This set has 2 pieces of Mail of Hellfire, so your resistances are way down. But that's not new for a gunner. You get hit twice, you die anyway. Getting one shot is nothing new. This set also has tune up level 2, evade extender 2, attack boost 7. You can either roll for utility on the armor pieces like slugger or part breaker, or go for more damage and roll agitator. Either way, these armor pieces are good to roll in the gacha machine. Next up is the semi suicide no talisman dereliction blood right set. No level of steadiness at all. So you're dealing with left and right severe deviation here. I suggest you try to go and 
and make that attack boost 3 to level 4 first before trying to fit in more resentment. This set has no evade extender as well. Dereliction on the blue scroll not only makes you hit harder, but it also increases the stun done by your stickies. Again, this is a no talisman set. Don't forget power barrel with these damage sets. If you roll a single slot in any of these armor pieces, you can put in some steadiness there to get you to shoot straight stickies. Slugger and the stun bonus from Dereliction stacks. For the max Dereliction Bloodrite set, I prioritize tune up 2 instead of getting attack boost 7. Resentment is only level 2 here even with the god charm, but rest assured, it still packs a punch. Try to get an attack boost roll on one of the armor sets. After getting one level of attack from augmentation, it's up to you if you want to go for more stun or more utility or more damage via resentment. Next up is a demo hunt with Silver Rathalos using the generic 3 to one talisman shield approach. It's not that fast, but it's kind of fun. Enjoy.
我は惑わず。